This is the Large Hadron Collider. And we recreate the conditions that were present less than a billionth of a second after the universe began. And actually this morning I got an email saying that we've just finished today building the last piece of Atlas. It's the biggest scientific experiment ever attempted. The clickbait sounding title might have you imagining monstrous universe swallowing anomalies emerging from the Large Hadron Collider, also known as the LHC. Rest assured, the reality is far less dramatic, but it does touch on a fascinating blend of cutting edge science and the slight unease that can accompany the exploration of unknown frontiers. You've never collided protons together at these energies, how do you know? CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, is home to the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built. The LHC's massive 27-kilometer ring allows scientists to smash protons together at near light speed, recreating conditions close to the moments after the Big Bang. This allows them to study the universe's fundamental building blocks and the forces that shape our reality. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, is home to the largest and most powerful particle accelerator ever built. The LHC's massive 27-kilometer ring allows scientists to smash protons together at near light speed, recreating conditions close to the moments after the Big Bang. This allows them to study the universe's fundamental building blocks and the forces that shape our reality. For the most part, CERN's discoveries unlock wonders, not terrors. Why do we do that? Purely because we want to know how the universe works. The confirmation of the Higgs boson, essential for our understanding of how particles have mass, was a triumph of physics. Yet lurking beneath the excitement are a few theoretical possibilities that give even seasoned scientists pause. Are we all going to die next Wednesday? Something that took us by surprise. When you delve into the basic structure of reality, you enter a realm where intuition breaks down. The very act of pushing knowledge forward means the potential of uncovering things we never imagined. It's a bit like those first explorers heading into uncharted waters. There could be sea monsters, but also entirely new continents. The vast energies involved in LHC collisions make them the perfect breeding ground for never-before-seen exotic particles or phenomena. While the overwhelming likelihood is that these would simply expand our understanding of physics, a tiny sliver of what-if remains. The unknown, by its very nature, carries a hint of the unpredictable. It's very common to point out the dangers. It's very common to point out the cost. One theoretical possibility that captures the imagination is the creation of microscopic black holes. Let's unpack why this makes some people nervous. Black holes are regions of space-time so dense that not even light can escape, leaving them as, well, black holes in our cosmic tapestry. The idea of one popping into existence, even a fleeting, minuscule one, conjures up sci-fi disaster scenarios. It's crucial to note, reputable scientists agree that even if microscopic black holes were produced at the LHC, they would be harmless. They'd evaporate almost instantly due to something called Hawking radiation. These tiny black holes wouldn't gobble up Earth. They lack the mass and would decay in a flash of energy. Yet the concept of a black hole, no matter how small, is enough to set off a tingle of unease for some. A more obscure hypothetical worry is the concept of strangelets. To explain this, we need a quick primer on quarks. They're the building blocks of protons and neutrons. Quarks come in flavors, up, down, and the heavier strange quark among others. A strangelet would be a hypothetical lump of matter mostly made up of these strange quarks. The concern here is the possibility, however remote, that a strange let could convert ordinary matter into more strange matter. This could hypothetically trigger a chain reaction. Although, again, most physicists deem the probability negligible. Still, the very idea of matter transforming on a fundamental level plays into a certain sci-fi-fueled anxiety for some people. Like any powerful tool, the technologies and knowledge emerging from CERN carry a minuscule potential for misuse. Throughout history, Scientific discoveries, from fire to nuclear fission, have been both a boon and a potential tool of destruction. It's a risk inherent in the pursuit of knowledge, not one solely tied to CERN. 
However, some worry the discoveries stemming from high-energy particle physics could be more easily weaponized. Beyond tangible concerns, discoveries at CERN can challenge our worldview in more philosophical ways. Imagine finding out the universe has extra unseen dimensions curled up beyond our perception. Or, consider the possibility that our universe is just one among an infinite multitude, a multiverse. Such revelations can be awe-inspiring but also disquieting. They might make us feel even more insignificant in an impossibly vast reality. CERN scientists are keenly aware of the concerns that certain scenarios generate. The organization has a stellar safety record with rigorous protocols to assess theoretical risks before any experiment. Scientists at CERN understand that they operate within a society, and the pursuit of knowledge must go hand in hand with responsible research practices. It's vital to point out that the fear-mongering around CERN usually rests on misunderstandings. The likelihood of a doomsday scenario unfolding at the LHC is minuscule compared to things like asteroid impacts, supervolcano eruptions, or potentially harmful uses of artificial intelligence. Far less exotic threats. The overwhelming sentiment among physicists regarding CERN is excitement. Each discovery further illuminates the intricate workings of our universe. Finding new forces, unexpected particles, or a hint that our current models of physics are incomplete. These are the true breakthroughs scientists anticipate, and they tend to bring far more potential for benefit than for catastrophe. It's the same sense of wonder that drives us to explore the deepest oceans and the furthest reaches of space. Yes, the unknown can be a little scary, but for countless scientists and science enthusiasts, the awe that comes from pushing the limits of our understanding far outweighs the sliver of hypothetical risk. Research at CERN isn't about building doomsday devices hidden beneath the picturesque Swiss countryside. The quest to understand matter and energy has led to breakthroughs with tangible benefits for society. Particle detectors developed for CERN have found countless uses in medical imaging. From better cancer diagnosis to the delicate task of examining ancient scrolls without unrolling them, technologies created to peer into the hearts of atoms now save lives and preserve history. The extreme conditions of the LHC demand cutting-edge solutions. Magnets able to steer beams at such energies, supercomputers sifting through mountains of data. These innovations bleed into fields far beyond physics, advancing what's possible in various industries. Perhaps the most familiar impact CERN has had on your life is indirect. The need to share data among a global network of physicists led to the invention of the World Wide Web, forever changing how we communicate and access information. Will CERN one day uncover something truly paradigm-shifting, perhaps a wrinkle in our current models that hints at a deeper, unified theory of the cosmos, or maybe a particle that behaves in ways that force us to re-evaluate all we know? The greatest discoveries are often those we never see coming. It's an exciting time for fundamental physics. Whether those discoveries leave us feeling awestruck, bewildered, or somewhere in between, there's no doubt that CERN will continue to play a vital role in shaping how we see the universe and our place within it. The excitement and occasional unease surrounding CERN aren't just confined to the scientific community. It has captured the public imagination, fueled in part by portrayals in popular culture. Dan Brown's novel Angels and Demons, featuring a plot around stolen antimatter from CERN, might be the most familiar example. These fictionalized depictions reflect the public fascination with CERN as a place where the very fabric of reality can be manipulated. There's a grain of truth in that idea. After all, scientists at CERN are quite literally looking to poke holes in our current understanding of physics, and that always invites a little intrigue mixed with apprehension. One of the best ways to address the fears stemming from misunderstanding is through openness and communication. CERN has active outreach programs designed to make their research accessible. From guided tours of the facility to online resources explaining the science in plain language, they actively engage with the public to address concerns and build excitement around their groundbreaking work. After all, being terrified usually stems from not fully grasping the scope and context of the science. When theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking was asked about those fears of black holes at the LHC, he quipped, if physicists at CERN were able to create black holes, they would also likely know how to make them disappear safely. Ultimately, the conversation around CERN and its potential impact mirrors a fundamental tension within human nature. We are a curious species, an innate drive to explore and understand our world pushing us forward. 
Yet that same curiosity is tempered by an instinct for self-preservation, keeping us wary of the potential dangers that lurk in the unknown. The key lies in balancing those instincts. Responsible science isn't about shying away from the pursuit of knowledge, but about carefully considering risks, maintaining transparency, and having open dialogue.